Okay, so the first Bible is not really a Bible actually, but it is a devotional called Jesus Calling by Sarah Young. And this is really popular and now I know why. Because the devotionals in there are um, in first person. It's like God is talking to you very directly. And it's really, really good. Um, I might read today's. So let's see what God has to say. April 5th. Let me fill you with my love, joy, and peace. These are glory gifts flowing from my living presence. Though you are an earthen vessel, I designed you to be filled with heavenly contents. Your weakness is not a debt rent to being filled with my spirit. On the contrary, it provides an opportunity for my power to shine forth more brightly. As you go through this day, trust me to provide the strength you need moment by moment. Don't waste energy wondering whether you are adequate for today's journey. My spirit within you is more than sufficient to handle whatever this day may bring. That is the basis for your confidence. In quietness, spending time alone with me, and confident trust, relying on my sufficiency, is your strength. And they, she gives you little verses to look up and read. Jesus Calling by Sarah Young is a classic and a must-have. The next Bible I have is one of my first Bibles that I ever got. My dad bought it for me. I got this back in 2007. It's the NIV version by Zondervan. And by the way, NIV stands for New International Version, so it's a very simple version. The cover has actually been peeled off completely, uh, but it is still so special to me. It is actually red leathered. Red lettered, not leathered. <laughs> I found that I stay consistent better when I have a small enough Bible that won't fall on my face when I'm lying down to read in bed. The next one I have is actually a study Bible and it's a big black leather one. And it is, let's see, the New American Standard Bible or NASB. And it is also by Zondervan. And as you can see, it's been roughly used uh, some of it is coming out, but that's actually a good thing because you know it's been used. And I really love the, the way they have the index here, so it's easy to prop open to any part of the Bible. This was also given to me by my dad, and this time he has an even longer note in it, um, which is quite special to me. I love it because it's got all these footnotes on the bottom and it's just really, really informative and I really learned a lot by reading the footnotes. And so if there's a study Bible I could recommend, it would be this one. <laughs> Thank you to my dad. The next one is actually a picture Bible um, and this is from my younger days, but it was so good. I still read it to this day and it's the picture Bible. This is what it looks like on the inside. It's got so much color and um, I really fell in love with the Bible stories because of this book. So if you have a child or you plan on having a child or you just want to read it yourself, go out and buy this book, okay? I believe you can get it on Amazon or any store that sells Bibles or Christian books the last Bible, the Bible that I'm currently using the most, is this beautiful Word Bible, um, which is also NIV and it's also by Zondervan, and it has this uh, beautiful woven cover. These tabs were put in by me manually, uh, they did not come with it. The beautiful Word Bible is really cool because you have space on the side to write notes, and it's also got a bunch of images and things that make the Bible a lot of fun. That's what it looks like turning into the New Testament. They have highlighted some popular verses and they have illustrations for it on the side. As you can see, you can write notes and more illustrations. And the last Bible um, that I want to talk about but can't show you is one that I have not gotten yet and it's uh, very popular right now, I think, and it's called the Hosanna Revival Bible. And I believe if you go on their website, Hosanna Revival um, website, you can find um, of all their Bibles that they're selling. They also have notes 
um, places for you to write notes on the side like the one I just showed you um, uh, and that is one that I have yet to get hoping to very soon in the future thank you so much for watching this short video um, and thank you for coming outside with me hopefully the wind didn't bother you that much thank you bye Thank you.